Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another quick tutorial. On this tutorial, we're going to be showing you three different ways how you can disable the IP version 6 on Windows 10. Technically, it says 3, but in a way, it's almost like 4, how I want to be showing it to you. Regardless, um, we're going to go into more detailed stuff about it. So, pretty much, IP version 6 is caused by connectivities. Now, IP version 6 is pretty much one of the latest um, internet protocols that is supposed to technically replace the IP version 4. But however, most websites and softwares don't technically use that IP version 6 yet. So this pretty much is pretty much common that we disable that as IT administrators and stuff like that to disable to fix some of the issues and network related issues. One of my most common ones that I got was on HP laptops that I had to disable IP version 6 or if not currently update the latest uh, driver, network driver to fix this problem or if not, your network will not want to work. So on this tutorial, we're going to be showing you how you can pretty much disable those um, IP version 6 settings in Windows 10. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first option is going to be pretty simple. There are different ways you can get to it, but the first one's going to be pretty simple. We're going to just go ahead and just go to um, the search bar right here, and this pretty much the search right here. You can type it in and type in ncpa.cpl. And it'll pretty much bring a shortcut from the control panel. Shortcut takes us to this. Technically, you can just go to control panel. So let's go ahead and just go to search bar and go ahead and type in control. All right, there it is right there. And we're going to go to network and internet and the network sharing center. And then we'll go to change advanced settings. So that's why I gave you the shortcut. It's so much easier to get to. And we're going to choose which um, internet browse, pretty much internet browse, what type of internet adapter you're going to be using. So if you had a wireless, you'll choose that. If you can choose a desktop, you'll choose a desktop. You pretty much get the point. So what you're going to do is go ahead and right click on it. And then from there, all you pretty much have to do is just uncheck the IP version 6 and press OK. And then technically you might need to restart your computer, but that is pretty much it. Very simple. Now what we would do is go ahead, if you want to bring it back, you'll just go ahead and go to the same location, go to properties, re-enable, press OK, and you should be good. And that's pretty much the first simple step. That's pretty much the most easiest way to do this. Now there are other ways that we can do this, and we're going to go ahead and continue doing this video for you. So next one will be done through pretty much through PowerShell. So what we're going to do is go ahead and go to start, and there's the search bar. We're going to go ahead and type in PowerShell. And here it is. Before you click it, you have to right click on it and select run as administrator. You will need this for this to work. So here we are on the PowerShell. So what we're going to do is go ahead and type in git space net adapter um, binding space negative component. Am I spelling this correctly? Component? I think so. Um, ID space ms underscore tcp ip6. Uh, so I spelled everything correctly. There it is. This is the only Ethernet one that I have right now. Depending on it, if it had a different name on there, you would have to select it from there. So what we're going to go ahead and do is go ahead and disable the pretty much the negative sign net adapter binding and then negative name and then quotation and on the quotation we're going to put the name of it so it's called ethernet and we're going to close the quotation right there and then we're going to go ahead and put negative component i'm going to go ahead and put it uppercase just for to be shut component i had it almost misspelled right there space ms underscore tcp ip6 and we're going to go ahead and press enter and now it should be disabled so now if i technically go to ip config slash aw i don't see it in this list right now the ip version 6. so another option you can do is instead of doing just that one ethernet that you saw from the list let's say if you wanted to just do all of them like that you can pretty much just change that name right there on Ethernet. And all you have to do is change it to a pretty much a star. And this will pretty much disable that to all of them. Now, if you want to technically want to 
re-enable this. It's pretty simple. All we're going to do is go ahead and change this name to disable to enable. So here it is enable and we're going to keep the name thing so as it is. You can go ahead and leave the star if you want this to apply to all of them. You'll pretty much press it and it'll pretty much do the work. Another option is if you don't want to do it to all of them, you only just want to do it to that one. You would choose the Ethernet, the one that I choose from here from my list. And then we'll go ahead and press enter and it'll do the same thing too. Pretty much it's the same steps. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and type in ipconfig slash aw. And right now you see IP version 6 is up and it's pretty much going in this step right here. Now the sixth one's going to be done in command prompt, but it'll also be doing the same way you can do this through registry. I'll be showing you pretty much the same thing. Both I'll show you, go ahead and show you both options. So again, you'll go ahead and go to start, go to search, type in CMD and here's command prompt. Go ahead and right click on it and select run as administrator. You will need this to be able to work. So here's pretty much the command prompt. Uh, we're going to go ahead and type in a crazy long one and instead of me taking this forever, I'm just going to go ahead and just copy this link for you and just paste it for you for it. So this is what we're going to do is go ahead and type in reg add the quotation then hklm slash system slash current control set slash services slash tcp ip slash parameters and quotation then pretty much a forward slash v space disabled components space forward t space rake underscore d word space forward d forward slash d space 255 space forward slash f and this will do the work right here so it was 20,000 steps to do like this and now if I go ahead and type in ip config slash all it's technically up as you see this you will need to restart this computer so let me go ahead and just restart this computer to show you this real quick and we'll be back once it's pretty much finished and how you can pretty much disable this. All right, guys, so pretty much we're signing back into the system right now. When it comes up, I'm going to go ahead and just open up command prompt. Uh, we're going to go ahead and see if that IP version 6 is up. So here we're going to start and we're going to go ahead and type in CMD. And I'm going to go ahead and right click run as administrator. This will be needed for it to work. It might take a little second. Windows could be still loading up. Here it is. Go ahead and press yes. And we're going to go ahead and type in IP config slash all. I put extra space right there, space, space all. And right now we do not see IP version 6 showing in this list. So pretty much it is disabled through there. Now, if you want to re-enable this, all you have to do is pretty much type in this command right here. It will be reg space delete space quotation hklm slash system slash current control set slash services slash TCP IP slash parameters quotation space forward slash V space disabled component space forward slash F and press enter and the system will be completed. Now technically I'm going to try and just see if we can just without having to restart the computer. If it tells us to restart it that's fine but here I am I'm going to go ahead and just kill this explorer. Where is it at? There's Windows Explorer restart it. Let me see if I can go ahead and type in ipconfig slash all. No. So let me go ahead and just restart this computer again just to show you that it's back on IP version 6 again. All right. So Windows is loading up again. Go, let me go ahead and open up CMD again. Right click on it. Select run as administrator. Press yes. And here it is. I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and type in ipconfig slash all. And as you notice, IP version 6 is back on. And we pretty much showed you how to do this in command prompt, but all that system is is doing a registry settings. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the fourth option that will be easier to do this to me than having to go to command prompt and type in this 20,000 steps. So to this, you'll pretty much go to start and pretty much go to search bar and you can go ahead and type in reg edit. Go ahead and select and press yes. You'll probably be prompted for this. Again, you might need to have administrative rights for this or if not, it won't allow you to. Maybe not even let you even just to view it. So here we are into this pretty much registry settings. And pretty much the list that we told us to the copy underneath command prompt that gave you that 20 locations is going to be the same thing here. What we're going to do is go ahead and go to the local machine, H key, local machine, space, system, then current control set, then services, and then we're going to scroll down until you see TCP IP 6. There it is. 
we're going to expand this and we're going to choose parameters. And then from there, we're pretty much going to create a new D word. This D word is going to be called disabled um, components. And I'm making to be sure I'm spelling this correctly. C O M P O N E N T S. And there it is, file created. And we're going to go ahead and double click this and change this to decimal and change this value to 255. And then press OK. So now it's been created. And to verify this, we're going to go ahead and restart this computer again. Right now, I'm actually going to go ahead and open up Command Prompt and open it and see if IP version 6 is open up twice by accident. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and type in IP config slash aw. And you see IP version 6 is currently still on here. So let me restart this computer real quick and see what it does. All right, so Windows is coming back up. I'm going to go ahead and type in CMD and open it again. Be prompted, it's fine. And here it is. I'm going to go ahead and type in IP config. I'm trying to spell this config space slash aw. And here it is, it is disabled. I don't see IP version 6. So to reverse this step again, we're going to go ahead and go to the search bar and go ahead and type in reg edit. And here it is, go ahead and right click. You can select Run Administrator, just click it. This is going to prompt you regardless for it to work. And it remembers where you're last located at. And here we are. Now if you weren't in that location, then I'm going to go ahead and just close this up just to show you. This happens sometimes that it may not remember where you were just at. So I'm just going to hit uh, backspace and go back all the steps that we just went to just to show you. So this is pretty much what it might look like if it got cleared out. What we're going to go ahead and do is go ahead and go to again to local machine, then system, then current control set, then services, then scroll down and TC TCP. Here it is TCP IP six. And we're going to select parameters. And all we have to do to fix this problem is just select that one that we created, the disabled component. Go ahead and press delete that file. And it'll probably prompt us for this. Are you sure you want to permanently delete this value? Go ahead and press yes. And now we should be good. So now I'm going to go ahead and restart the computer one more time just to show you. And we're going to see if that IP version 6 is back on your computer. All right, so Windows is pretty much loading up. I'm going to go ahead and open up CMD again. Technically, I don't think I need to run as administrator. I just need to just run this program just to show you. So I'm going to go ahead and type in IP config slash aw. And here is IPv version 6 back on there. And that is pretty much it. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.